Oh man, here we go. <laughs> this is what we need to be seeing all across the country. Outrage from the citizens in the community who probably voted for these people because you know what they do. Vote for me. We're going to make things better. We're looking out for you, the Democrat libtards, pandering to the black community. They tell them this. These people believe them. And why shouldn't they? I don't know. Chicago's been running the ground for decades. Thank God these people are waking up. They're going, good Lord, they've been duping us the whole time? We've been shim-shammed? Well, this is new video of migrants on move-in day at a newly opened shelter in the Pilsen neighborhood. Like so many other shelters across the city, this one was met with some protest from neighbors. That's just and one that same drama in the city. is playing out tonight over a park on the west side. Turn the buses around. Turn the buses around. You want to think that? I love it. I love it. I mean... It's funny and it's not funny. He's like turning buses around and he's right. But where are they going to turn them around to? Because you know Texas is probably loading them up and sending them to them. Because they're just, the tsunami just has to stop. Turn them back around, take them where? Where are they going to take them? But they need to turn the buses around they don't want them. Exactly. What little resources they have. Because these politicians line in their pockets making a career out of running these cities into the ground. Where's all this money going? Where is all the money going for Chicago and the Chicago's residents, their citizens? Where is it going? It's going to the migrants. In Galewood, tensions are running high over a plan to turn the Admonson Park Fieldhouse into a shelter. Yeah, that proposal is angering residents who packed into a meeting tonight that was standing room only. Casey Cronus has that part of the story. Why, why aren't the newscasters going, we're angry about this too. It's our community too. We're your trusted local news. But they're saying they talk like third person. The residents are angry, but they're not. They're not angry, are they? But the residents are. Tonight's meeting was contentious, rowdy, and left hundreds of residents with unanswered questions. Their main fear, that when migrants move in, park programming and youth activities for this community will be stripped away. Within seconds of city officials taking the microphone, community members anxious to speak their minds took center stage. If you would head to right mind and see a crowd like this, you would say to yourself, they don't want it. And we <laughs> you would think they don't care. They don't care. This is all done intentionally. And it's happening all over the planet. All over the planet. I'm going to do another video on this. It's happening everywhere. And if there's dissent in the leadership that want to stop it, guess what they do? They get these prosecutors to go and find any dirt they can on a politician who don't want migrants coming in flooding like a tsunami. It's happening all over the planet. We should be afraid. What the hell's going on? Why are they doing this? The powers that be on the planet are organized in doing this to everybody? Italy getting hammered? With migrants? Illegals? Flooding in? Why? It makes you want to stop and think, what the hell? Do they, do they want every... Every place on the planet just to implode? Apparently so. And it's not a conspiracy. It is literally happening. And the people don't want it. 
We need to get the pitchforks in the tar and feather and run these people out of town. Recall this, these mayors, your governors. Recall them. Chicago, stand up, fight. It's got to start somewhere, and I love seeing what's happening here with this community. We're not anti-migrants, but it shouldn't be on our backs. Still unclear when approximately... Oh, but it is on your backs. It's on everybody. It's on every American citizen's back because it's your tax dollars that's paying for it. The government is not in the business to make money. Well, at least they shouldn't be. Their money is from us. The taxpayers, the hardworking people. And all your money's getting flushed down the toilet or lying in their pockets. I just saw an article yesterday. They've spent $3.8 billion on furniture. $3.8 billion on furniture. Yeah, I got to pull that article up. 200 migrants might be moving in. 29th Ward Alderman Chris Taliaferro, who says he is strongly opposed to the plan, tried to settle tensions. But neighbors say programs for youth and elderly residents are at risk if their field house becomes a sanctuary. A lot of these young boys, they don't have fathers. So a lot of these coaches, they are their father. They spend part of their weekend here alone during the week that keeps them a safe place. It gets them mentorship. It shows them discipline. Hours before the meeting, neighbors held a protest outside blasting the plan. We ain't having that, no. You want to tell us what to do in our park? You cannot do that. We pay our money. Some calling for... I think they're going to do as much damage as they can before they get run out of town and tarred and feathered. I think they're going to just... They're just going to do as much damage as they can. And God, Lord, Lord, help us if Biden gets elected again. I don't know if we can. <laughs> I don't think we can sustain this for another four years, people. I don't. It's there's. It's incomprehensible. Four more years of Biden. These these libtards in all these all these states, Chicago, the city of Chicago. Illinois, New York, California, Texas, getting this influx, this tsunami. If this continues because the Biden administration, they don't give a shit about the border. They said it's secure. They said it's secure. For more transparency from the fifth floor. And what I want to say is to Mayor Brandon Johnson, mm -hmm. we are disappointed in you. This is the community that supported you. Yes. How dare you? We've reached out to Mayor Brandon Johnson's office for his response Where's to the at? community's reaction, but have not yet heard back. Report yeah, what's he going to say? I know. I know they don't like it, but we're doing it anyway. Elections are coming around. We're going to do as much damage and destruction as we can. We're going to run this city into the ground. We're going to spend every dime that you guys give us. Because we don't care. Because we don't care. I mean, uh, these comments here, I was kind of scanning them. <laughs> Look, the mayor... The mayor's pocketing a lot of the money for each migrant. The more migrants, the more money. I don't know. But there is so much waste. $3.8 billion on furniture? Go check out uh, the New York Post. They've got an article. $3.8 billion on furniture for their offices, government, senators, offices. And that was during the pandemic. <laughs> Which they're hardly never in their office anyway. They only show up to vote. And we're paying them all this money. We need to have term limits. 
Need to run them out of town. Need to run them out of town. Look, this guy's saying 99% of those complaining voted for him. Yeah, they did. They trust these people. Maybe they're going to wake up. I don't know. My, my whole life since I've been able to vote, reflecting back, they all say the same crap. We're going to make things better. Whether they're Republican or Democrat, I don't care which one they were. They all say the same thing. We're going to make it better. Now, granted, the, the red states, they do do better. They do. Is there problems? Yes. Do they squander money, pocket money? Probably, yeah. Yeah, they do. There's corruption everywhere where there's power, people. There's corruption. But the Democrat states, oh, my God. They're horrible. My kid, come talk to me yesterday after school. Hey, they're going on a Washington, D.C. D.C. trip. I was like, you ain't going. He's like, but why? That place is a cesspool of depravity. I would have to go there packing. And watch him like a hawk. No, he's not going on a field trip. Drive down there in a bus. <laughs> <clears throat> and it's a dead blame shame that he can't go. I'm scared to death to let him go there. The crime that's there? No way. So now he can't go see all those wonderful things that are there. It's a crying shame. And there, that's what's happening.